everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lululemon Triple Zip Backpack here. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this backpack in the color Black Highlight Yellow. And this backpack currently goes for $138 Canadian and $128 American. I like that this one's kind of like business on the outside, party on the inside, because boom. The highlight yellow interior. Now the first thing I want to show you guys on this bag is the logos. So the first logo we have is right at the front here. It is a stitched on Lululemon logo. And coming over to the back of the bag, we also have a little kind of silicone logo right here as well. So this is definitely a great option for those of you who like your more, you know, low key logos that don't stand out very much. So now I'm gonna show you guys all around and inside this backpack. So at the front of the backpack here, we can see there's like this like X design, which is kind of unique. And we have being the triple zip backpack, we got three zippers. Before I get into that, we do have water bottle pockets at the side. And they are a little bit stretchy, which is great. So this is the first pocket we got. So we can see there's like mesh divided pockets, two of those, as well as a key loop and some storage space in the middle. Now moving on to the next pocket right behind that. Here's where we have the brunt of the storage of this backpack. So we have a pretty large storage area right there. And then at the top here, we have more divided mesh pockets two right here, great for, you know, separation, organization. We also have a zippered pocket right here. Not super deep, about the width of my hand. And then on the inside of this pocket right here, it does say items of importance. A nice little message. And we have a little, you know, Lululemon silicone logo right there. And the final zippered pocket of this bag is at the back. And this pocket also quite big. Coming over to the back of the backpack here, we can see the straps. So the straps are have a lot going on. Not only do we have, you know, our adjustable straps here, we have a sternum strap, we have adjustability at the top here to help with weight distribution. And all right guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. So here's what it looks like on me. It does have this little strap here for extra support. So if you're carrying heavy stuff, that could be helpful for you. You can definitely adjust it to make it, you know, higher or lower on you. One thing I love about this backpack is the straps are thick. Finally. <laughs> Most of Lululemon's backpacks have very thin padding, so I love this. It is so nice and thick and plush and comfortable to wear. When I'm carrying heavier items, lighter items, it's all good because this backpack has great support in terms of, you know, the weight distribution here, has lumbar support, the straps are nice and thick, just great. So I love that because most of Lululemon's backpacks, very thin padding. And not only that, we have some padding on the carrying strap here, which is nice. All right, guys, hope you found it helpful seeing me try this on today. And now I'm gonna go into the major feature highlights about this backpack. So it's great for school, work, the gym, casual wear, and more. It has a very large 28 liter capacity that can hold all of your essentials and so much more. It has three zippered pockets for organization, one of those being a laptop pocket that can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. It has two water bottle pockets, padded carrying straps that are adjustable. It also has lumbar support and a sternum strap, which is great for weight distribution when carrying heavier items like textbooks. It's made of a water repellent fabric, which is great to keep your items dry, light rain or snow. And the dimensions of this bag are 14 inches by 8.3 inches by 19.5 inches. All right guys, so now I'm gonna talk about the zippers on this backpack because that's one of the most important things for me when I'm picking a backpack. I want one with good zippers that's not gonna slow me down and be annoying really. And good thing is so far in my experience, the zippers on this backpack are all great. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a demo for you guys. Number one. Number two, number three. And one thing I really like is that the main pocket here does have a dual zipper. So this is fantastic because you can open it and close it anywhere you want to. And you can just open a little bit, grab what you need, close it. I love having dual zippers, they are very handy. 
And here is the tag for anybody interested in this information here. And all right guys, now I'm gonna show you what this backpack can hold, what I would typically put inside of my backpack. And I'm gonna be packing this as if I were going to school. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna put in here is my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this front pocket right here. And I do have Z Flip 4, but I can go ahead and fold it and stick it in one of these pockets. Now in the other pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a hand lotion. And that's all I'm gonna put in there, but you could certainly put in more if you really wanted to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some water bottles in the water bottle pockets. So, I have with me a Lululemon water bottle here, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this into the pocket. Now one thing I really like about this backpack is the water bottle pockets are very tall, so you can fit almost the exact length of this. They're also quite stretchy, so I think this could fit a lot of different water bottle sizes. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick in a 500 milliliter water bottle in the other pocket. As you guys can see, it takes up all of that room because it is quite tall. So now coming back over to the inside here, I'm gonna fill up that second pocket. Got a lot of storage space in here. In this little pocket right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some pens and highlighters. And I also have a USB stick, which I'm gonna put in one of these mesh pockets. And I have with me some cue cards, which is something I used to love bringing with me when I was in school for studying. I'm gonna stick that in this other mesh pocket. And I also have with me a hand sanitizer, which I'm going to go ahead and stick right beside the USB. I have a, a notebook, and this is a 200 page thick notebook. I also have with me a little planner, and this planner is about 250 pages. I also have a book, love reading books when I had kind of spare time when I was in school. Next thing I have with me is a lunch bag. Now, I would bring my lunch to school when I was in school probably like almost every day, saving on money and eating healthier, so go ahead and stick it in here as well. So great thing about this backpack is it's very wide. Really room for a lot of stuff in here. Also gonna go ahead and bring, you know, a little bit of wallet with me. So I have with me my dual pouch wristlet here, which I'm gonna actually go ahead and put in this back pocket as well. A jacket, which I've gone ahead and folded up a bit. I'm gonna zip it shut. And the last thing I'm gonna be putting in is a laptop. So this is 13.5 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into the back pocket here, our laptop pocket. And there we go. And all right guys, that's everything I'd be putting in this backpack. Easily, this is my favorite backpack so far of 2023 from Lululemon for school. So something I really like about this backpack being like neon yellow on the inside is that it makes it very easy to find things when you're looking for them. Like let's say you're in class and you need a pencil that drops in the bottom of your backpack. Well, if this was let's say down here in a black backpack, you'd struggle to find that. But here, open it up. You can see very easily it's right down there. Like it's so simple to find things and that's something I love about this backpack being super light colored on the inside. All right guys, when it does come to this backpack, I have noticed some cons. So the first con for me is the design is a little bit boring. <laughs> that's just a personal opinion, but it's not a fun looking backpack that I'd like love wearing everywhere. I just find the design a little bit boring. That's just a me thing. <laughs> not a huge con by any means. A lot of you out there might really love the design. The next con for me is the price. This is expensive at $138. That's a lot of money to spend on a backpack. So I definitely would have liked to see it a little bit lower price, at least by $20 or so. I think that would definitely be more fair of a price. Don't know why it's $10 more in Canada versus the United States. Like, Lululemon, what are you doing? Come on, your Canadian company, hook up your Canadians, at least give us the same price. Like, why? Why is it $10 more? Most of the products from Lululemon are the same price. So that's just something that irritates me that this is $10 more here. The next con for me is that, I don't know what Lululemon was thinking, but the so-called suitcase strap that they say at the back here 
This is not a suitcase strap. Like why is it vertical instead of horizontal? I do not understand. I mean, you can use it as a great travel bag, but it's not the best when it comes to like attaching it to your suitcase because it's vertical here and versus horizontal, like 99% of other Lululemon's backpacks. And this design does not make sense to me. Like why would I want to pack my backpack with everything, being all organized, and then just go in and flopping it this way and throwing it on my suitcase. Like, I don't understand that. For me, it's just unusable. It should have been this way and this backpack could have been near perfect. Um, personally, I'd probably use this and maybe slip like a jacket through it. Like if I didn't want to carry it or something, I can go ahead and do that. And the last con for me is that the material on this backpack is not very soft. So if you are wearing this just with like, let's say a tank top or a dress or something with like no sleeves and the material is rubbing against your skin, it's not the most comfortable. It feels like a backpack, you know, a traditional backpack. It doesn't feel like a soft material that Lululemon uses on a lot of their other bags. So yeah, that's something that I would definitely mention. Surprisingly enough, this backpack has been great for pet hair and lint. It hasn't attracted that. My cat sat directly on this bag like a bunch of times. There's no cat hair clinging to it. There's like no lint. Like this thing is awesome for that. So that's something I'm really happy about because that's an issue like 99% of Lululemon bags have that this one does not. And quite honestly, this backpack so far is my favorite Lululemon backpack of 2023. And one thing I wanted to mention is that here on my channel, at VV Reviewing, I review a lot of Lululemon products. If this one doesn't, you know, catch your eye and you want something else, I have a whole entire Lululemon backpack playlist that you can find it's linked in the description below. And all right guys, thank you for those of you who watched the video till this point. Thanks for rocking with me. And I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on what's coming next. The Lululemon Command the Day backpack here. That video is gonna be dropping very soon. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your post notification bells turned on so you don't miss that video. And I drop new Lululemon videos every single week. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the functionality, the capacity, the comfort and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 9.2 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to pick up the Lululemon triple zip backpack here, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.